Hey everyone, Mike Chen here. When did humans first appear on Earth is an age-old question. And of course, the answer to that will vary depending on what you believe. Most textbooks will tell you that the first modern humans evolved in Africa some 250,000 years ago. Now, evidence for fairly sophisticated political and social organizations has been identified in Mesopotamia as long ago as 4700 BC. But most of the post-Neolithic societies that we consider civilizations are dated beginning just about 3000 BC. Now we've all seen movies with Neanderthals living in caves, using stone tools, eating raw meats, afraid of fire. And even when civilization started to form, people were still living pretty simple and technologically unadvanced lives. I mean, even toilet paper was not invented or used until the sixth century in China. Do you know what people did before toilet paper? The Romans used a communal sponge on a stick. Sponge on a stick. I mean, really? The only thing on a stick should be meat. I mean, any conversation in the bathroom should never include the phrase, hey, are you done with that sponge on a stick yet? Yeah, can I use it next? I mean, before toilet paper, the Greeks used stones and clay. And the early Americans decided that, hey, stones and clay sound too wimpy. Hey, we're gonna use corn cobs. Okay, I'm sorry, how we got from Stone Age Neanderthals to poop, I really don't know. But my original point was this. When we think about past civilizations, especially those of thousands of years ago, advancements were not things that came to mind. Now, what if I told you that evidence exists pointing to prehistoric civilizations as advanced as our modern civilizations, or perhaps even more advanced? Such evidence could turn our scientific certainties upside down. I mean, paradigm shifts are ushered in amid a bunch controversy. The following discoveries have been contested, but some scientists have maintained that they constitute indisputable evidence that tens of thousands or even many millions of years ago, humans walked the earth with as much or even more knowledge and culture as people of today. So all I'm saying is keep an open mind. The Le Marquet Caves in west central France contain depictions dated over 14,000 years old of people with short hair, groomed beards, tailored clothing, riding horsebacks, and suited in modern style. Not exactly the animal skin wearing women clubbing cavemen types. Now these paintings were confirmed as genuine in 2002. Investigators such as Michael Rappengluck of the University of Munich insist that these important artifacts are simply ignored by modern science. Some of the stones from the cave are on display at Paris' Museum of Man. But the ones that clearly portray prehistoric people with advanced culture and thought are not to be seen. When we talk about telescopes, the name Galileo may come to mind as he was credited for inventing the telescope in 1609. A stone found in Peru believed by some to have been engraved as far back as 65 million years ago, however, shows a human being holding a telescope and observing the stars. About 10,000 stones housed in the Cabrera Museum in Eca, Peru shows prehistoric humans wearing headdresses, clothes, and shoes. The stones depict scenes similar to organ transplants, C-sections, and blood transfusions, and some even show encounters with dinosaurs. While some say the stones are fake, Dr. Dennis Swift, who studied archaeology at the University of New Mexico, documented in his book, Secrets of the Eka Stones and Nazca Lines, evidence that the stones date back to pre-Columbian times. Swift says one of the reasons the stones were considered fake in the 1960s is that at the time it was believed dinosaurs walked dragging their tails, but the stones depict dinosaurs with their tails up and thus were thought to be inaccurate. Later studies showed, however, that dinosaurs likely walked with their tails up as depicted on the stones. So maybe advanced civilizations could have survived on Earth 65 million years ago, and they had a telescope. Now, a telescope might not be too advanced. I mean, we have telescopes now, but check this story out. In 1972, a French factory imported uranium ore from the Gabon Republic in Africa. With surprise, it found that the uranium had already been extracted. They found the site of the origin to be a large-scale, highly advanced nuclear reactor that came into being, wait for it, 1.8 billion years ago and was in operation for some 
Wait for it again, 500,000 years. Of course, scientists gathered to investigate with many explaining it as a wondrous yet natural phenomenon. But Dr. Glenn T. Seaborg, former head of the United States Atomic Energy Commission and Nobel Prize winner, believes it was not a natural phenomenon and thus must be a man-made nuclear reactor. He says for uranium to turn in a reaction, very precise conditions have to be met. I barely passed chemistry, so this is pretty ironic ironic, but here we go. The water must be extremely pure for one, much purer than anything that exists naturally anywhere in the world. Furthermore, the moderator and the fuel must be extremely pure. Even a few parts per million of contaminants such as boron will poison the reaction, bringing it to a halt. Also, the material U-235 is necessary for nuclear fission to occur. It is one of the isotopes found naturally in uranium. Several specialists in reactor engineering have said they believe the uranium gathered at the source could not have been rich enough in U-235 for a reaction to take place naturally. Furthermore, it seems that the reactor was more advanced than anything we could even build today. It was several miles in length and the thermal impact to its environment was limited to 40 meters, about 131 feet, on all sides. The radioactive waste is still contained by surrounding geological elements and has not migrated beyond the mine site. So let me know what you guys think. Could some of these be hoaxes? Could some of these be explained scientifically? Or do you believe that hundreds of thousands of years ago, or even millions or billions of years ago, there could have been civilizations that existed on this planet that was far superior than ours today? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe.